Yeah, that like that was really good, but just try and do it again, but be more of an asshole. It has been said. No, 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 no. You want to be a little bit more sexual, a little bit, have a little bit of tension in in, in oh. what you're trying to say, and uh, feel it. But you're not you're not sexy. You okay. know what I mean? I got it. It has been said. Yes, perfect. That's oh, exactly what we want. Yes. What are you guys? What are you guys doing? Why is Why is Benny in my chair? It's time for arguably Australia's number one beer podcast, The Step Brewers, with your hosts, Papa Sweden and The Pilly Panther, formerly known as The Juice Wolf. Oh, and The Weg. Take it away, boys. <laughs> GIP, baby. Um, hello. GIP. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> <laughs> episode 61 of the Step Brewers podcast. The podcast Brewers Love. Um, I am your host, Ali. This is a real Pilly shaky Pamper. start. This is a real <laughs> shaky start. It was very cold. <laughs> it was very cold, um, but it was nice, refreshing. I have another one. No. Um, if no, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Well, you told me to have it like just before we started, uh, before the you know the music got into. Our guest told you that. No. We do not speak his name. No, Wake did, and uh, I did it. Fair. And now I feel a bit raw. I like that. Now you're doing what Wake tells you to do. Yep. Yeah. That's behind what the happens sense. when I'm not behind oh, the desk ooh. anymore. Behind the scenes. Right. Oh, they're still, I'm glad that they're still back. I like, That's the, uh, nice. I like the little glass you have your, your pig in. That's right. You can actually see the uh, the print when the when the foam is nicely coated. I've got a little chunky boy glass too. I'm liking that. Mm. Yeah. Did you time yeah. that, by the way, or did I just waste my time? I'm pretty sure it was at current speed. Mm, I think so too. I think so too. Um Thank you. Uh, the, the episode now is sponsored by our lovely friends at Preachers, Hobart. You! Thanks for all that hot cash, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, this, uh, the, the set's <laughs> looking... Only. There must be cabbage because well, well, the set's looking good. This is the last time you'll see the set like this because mm. we're doing a little bit of a, a little bit of a makeover um oh. so you got so much cabbage you're renting your own space now damn right we're, oh. in, a, we're in a, a big wash. warehouse and it's great so. hopefully clint will be able to afford to buy me new headphones soon too because oh i can't believe you'd bring yeah. that up oh yeah. my gosh 30 seconds in <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> no but as the weekend just gone we had our live first live shot preachers it went very very well uh some very good grog was on tap um hand selected by us uh how do you think that went, Clint? Good? Happy with uh, the beer choices? Shout out amazing. to Mr. Banks for uh, mm. helping us out, you know, the week off. Special, off. special thank you to Mr. Banks, who not only helped mm. us out with some exclusive kegs, but coordinated those kegs, took them to Fresh Freight for us in Melbourne, got the fixie kegs in. Like, seriously, Chris did a lot, so we appreciate you. We do, we do. Um, can't wait to have him back on the show for the Lager episode, of course. Ooh, but, oh, and our special yeah. guest. And our special guest. So have you, have you laid off on the whole like he's like farmer lactose or is that still no nah, it's still on man still on going? still on for mm. sure mm. yeah cool oh Benny's here as well <laughs> our most favourite guest uh, of the he's show he's here again and he's here again we really can't get rid of him the fucking pest he is nope but, like uh, a turd that won't flush but now he's now he's on a uh, camera so <laughs> don't know how you feel about that you are alright uh, that's okay yeah, yeah, yeah interesting. Interesting. <laughs> He's wearing no pants, so uh, we nah, can see. Everything. I'm wearing pants, but I've got Ugg boots on, so 
par, you know, business up top party downstairs. Mm, it's the nice from what I'm out. seeing. Look, look out! Look at the legs. Nice, very sexy. Um, that's all I got for the intro. Oh, Klimt's here, I guess. Wegg's here. Uh, no, I, I really. Cares. I don't even know why I write you in to ever do the intros. Why? Well, you could have done something beautiful and poetic. I did something very beautiful, and that was chug a pig to start the show. So. Well, in, in respect of the chugging of the pigs, we do have some new Patreon. We do. One of which is Mr. Karen McCarthy. Oh, that's fucking uh, right. That is, that is just... That's I, I still watched a video oh. of that man. He's a beast. A pig. He's a beast. He's a yeah. brewer from Easy Times. Yeah. 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 Absolute legend. Uh, yeah. Very impressed. Very, yes. The chocolate bunny one, you really got around in you. Oh, that was great. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking like I know what I'm doing Easter. This felt very basic compared to, uh, to what he's doing. So, yeah. Uh, thank you to all our patrons, of course, for helping us... Uh, uh, do lots of fun stuff and have a good time. Mm. And uh, Could not couple do the show of, couple of the, exactly right. And they had a good time on Sunday as well, drinking out of their little steppies glasses, and it was good. Do you guys still break up the Patreon? So, like, you have yours and Clint has his. Or? That's correct, mate. Aren't you a member? Uh, you can be a brewery member, actually, because we have brewery members now. Oh. Do you want to? Do you want to introduce any new brewery members, Ali? Any special ones that might have signed up mm. that you'd like to? Talk up and say the show. We do has been have a brewery uh, brought to you by Patreon, them. and it is Spotty Dog. Who? Oh, <laughs> Spotty Donkeys. Welcome Sorry. to the oh, show. No, no, nice. No, nice, yeah, nice. we re- we thank uh, uh, Spotty for coming on. It's not just all Klimt because Klimt does literally not much. Of Spotty Dog, uh, mm. uh, and everyone else does. So exactly we appreciate right. everyone, but Klimt. But out of the Patreons, other than the brewery side, who's the most popular out of you two? Ooh. Uh, the answer is Wegg. Oh. The Wegg is very popular now. Really? The Wegg too, yeah. yeah the so what, do you, what do you do different? Like what access or what do you do different? Wegg doesn't have um, a tier yet. It's called accessibility oh. and that is that it is only like $2. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's like $2 a month. Yeah. The most popular tier is Papa Sweden's. Mine is the least popular because I'm middle of the road. Everyone wants to go high or go low. No one wants what's in the middle. And that's fine. Yep. Oh, well. That's sad. You know, yeah, you sorry, do man. get that on the big show. If you jobs. want to join the, the Pilly Panther tier, so. I'd, I'd jump on the Pilly Panther tier. Oh, of that's you nice. should get on it, man. That get is on real it. Nice. I think I'll do brewery. I think, I think we can do that. Yeah, I think, you know, Step Brewers as presented by Fox Friday. That's delicious. Mm-hmm. Give us a dirty cabbage, baby. <laughs> I just can't do cabbage like <laughs> other places. <laughs> wow. Um, we also welcome Simon Moore, who has joined. Thank you, Simon. Oh, welcome. Uh, local Tassie boy, Jack Glavin. Good yes. homie. Oh, yes. Saw him down at Preachers the other day drinking one of my ghosts with the bloody, you know. Ah, yes, the, yes. We might talk about that later. That's nice. Yeah, that's that's hot content. That's real nice. And, uh, yeah, it's been that's a big all. month. It has been a big month, uh, and we appreciate all the new and old members, of course. Mm. Um, that's all I've got for my hor- horrible intro. Uh, it was it was fairly subpar. It was, and I don't do them often. And I think the pig actually threw me off a bit. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Perhaps now we're starting to see why. <laughs> I'll, just have, I'll do a double pig next time. I do okay. Intro. Well, all right. double. I look you got to do it out of one of these, um, on um, next these jugs like that we've got lying around. One can on each uh, hat on the hat with the with the cans. Yeah. The we're going to have to buy him yeah, one of those. That'll be nice. Yeah. Can you get Stetson mounted like drinking hats? Oh, you could put a whole like heaps of them around. The yeah, room. I did say this episode would go for a long time with Benny here. He always All brings right. out the best and rawest. Hey, funnel. Let's do a get funnel. into some fucking beer news, shall we? Do it. Hit it. Welcome to Beer News, proudly hosted by The Wag. Oh, is that a, is that a new thing or are my headphones oh, just overly loud because it was uncomfortable? I don't know. It was, I was, very, I was just yeah, it was you know, quite loud in my headphones. Slot so fingers, chalk the board, mm. not pleasant. Uh, what, all of the best things. What have life. you got us, Wag? Uh, well, we are kicking off uh, Beer News this week with a little something uh, to do with pirate life. Uh. Um, oh, fuck, here we go. I think we all have probably seen rumblings uh, or heard or maybe not. Everywhere. I don't know. 
We've got a few boomers around the table here. So, um, <laughs> But basically, anyway, moving on. Uh, pirate Life uh, have kind of offsided a lot of people in the independent brewing scene, I think. Uh, and it's not necessarily... Five years. Oh, well, yeah, but especially lately with their latest stunt, more or less encouraging people to post um, photos of their beers, whatever they may be. I don't know if they were necessarily stipulating they had to be independent or not, but more or less post a photo with your beer and instead of actually showing that beer, put a Pirate Life logo over it Fantastic. and uh, we'll send you free beer. Yeah. So, same. fuck you, Pirate Life. Fuck you. Mm. Mm. That's... That, yeah, yeah I, think can, was, I think it was like a no thanks tag yeah, right. that you put over the other people's mm. beer and they send you a free four pack of their <sighs> Pirate Life have just done Kai everything Sour. wrong since they've just sold out, haven't they? Just mm. can't do anything right. And they do it shitly and yeah. it's fucking. Un- psh- oh. Pirate Life are like the opposite to the Bolter sale. Yeah. Very much so. And their marketing team should be shot. Because that's. If you're trying to stay within the people mm. and the people that made them to be successful and end up where they are now, yep. that's just against the grain of everything that they yep. achieved. So you're not, you're it makes not, no sense. You're not sending, out, anyone out. sending out free beer. I mean, maybe the person in marketing didn't realise how it would come across that it's like you're basically encouraging people to say their drink is shit, which a lot of people are posting indie beers, and then saying... Oh, and by the way, because it's shit, we'll send you a four-pack of us, our stuff for free. Like, we'll take other people's customers through, like, predatory market behaviour. That's not cool, man. Well, I'd just say, like, go down to the go down the tap room, do a funny dance, we'll give you free beers all day. Like, do something like that, not try and make it so you're putting you just, know, crosses mm, over yeah. other indies. Uh, rag on other people. You know, or other people's beers. It makes no sense. Free beer, though. It's part life. Get around it. A car it's, sour. It's, like it's basically free at Dan's anyway, yeah. isn't it? How many? Uh, how many four packs you got coming, Weg? <laughs> <laughs> too many. <to> count. <laughs> Weg, Weg's, Weg's an influencer now. Now he's becoming more popular than us. People are sending him beers. Oh. Mm. Are you trending? He's trending. I'm, I'm trendy. How'd you go in that Black Ops comp, by the way, Lockie? <laughs> oh, I drank them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't photograph oh, them. Shit. Oh, hope. he's been dubbed in. <laughs> I hope, I hope. No, I actually do still have some in the fridge, just in case they're like, where are the photos? But I genuinely haven't now actually Now they will be time. wondering where the photos yeah. are. Black Ops, I'm sending you a message tomorrow. <laughs> there will be photos. <laughs> oh. Someone tag Dan Norris <clears throat> in the comments. To um, be fair... When I saw the um, the wedding photo, the photos that were entering, I was like, "Well, might as well just drink my free beer." Who won? Uh, sips, sips and, and sessions. sessions. Oh. Yeah. Ash, horny, oh, horny. Yeah. Very good. Mm, very, very. He knows what he's work. doing. Did you have any ideas of what you wanted to do, or just couldn't come up with any good content? <laughs> you know me. I don't have any original ideas. Couldn't hire. True, couldn't hire a chopper, so <laughs> just gave up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ali can hire choppers. He's got money. Now you're sponsored with all that cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> this bloke, this bloke. This is why we don't get him on <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Also, speaking of sponsored, uh, not sponsored, I should say, uh, we're drinking... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sponsored, not sponsored. Sponsored, not sponsored. We didn't pay for it. That's what I'm saying. Mm. We are all drinking... Brag about uh, it. Blaster Brewing beers, which I unboxed very sexily on our gram the other day. Um, and no, you did not. We are having some tasty beverages, I will mm. say. What's mm. that uh, raspberry thing you've got, Weg? Mm. Pass me that because that is a delight. I don't know what it is, but it's great. Rampant raspberry, quad raspberry, passion fruit, hibiscus, kettle sour. Probably better than yours, Ooh. isn't it? Ooh. Don't know, mate. Mm. Benny and I are just on the chain. We're on the chain beer, breaker. And that's quite glorious. And I think it was nice to um, the brewer owner of Blaster just got announced as like one of the WA like 40 under, under 40. 40s like best mm. businessmen like, yeah. which is yeah just today great. how yeah, good is same. how good's the can art mm, I, I really can like 100 little unicorn mm. yeah it's very nice yeah I yeah. like it a lot let's not go down branding avenue <laughs> why have you been frustrated like recently <laughs> no I'm just waiting for him to start teeing off again. well as long as we don't <laughs> talk about yes they, I know must don't, not be named. Don't. Don't say it. Don't, Don't say it. All right, moving on. Yes, good one. Brewers have, Feast. How good's a do you know, have you heard about this, <laughs> Ali? I do know about Have Brewers you got Feast. an invite to this? Because I heard you're not actually coming. I haven't booked my flights. Yeah, well, I mean, neither have I. Have you? 
He does, he's getting a boat. <laughs> we might still get no, COVID boat's, at this point. The so boat's, who knows, booked, but the boat's booked out. Um, when you get a COVID test, you, which end do you get tested? Whoa, whoa, um, whoa, whoa, they whoa. put it in your right ear first, okay. and then it goes in your asshole. <laughs> that sounds about right. Because that's don't not cr- the swab. <laughs> 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 right. Uh, but anyway, we're going to Brewers Feast. We are going to Brewers Feast. What's Where the, is what it? are the dates? What's the is uh, that 17th and 18th April. of April. April. Not May. No, we're going April. to. Not only are we going to Brewers Feast, it's nearly we're a month be, away. Oh, we're going to be fuck. live on stage. Oh. Mm. It's going to be a time. We've got a lot of good homies over there. I was speaking to Jackie from Co Conspirators, and she's very excited to have us. Not before uh, Klimt uses me for free slave labour mm. on the Saturday. Mm. That is correct. I'll be paying you. Oh, not, not much. No. Uh, Cash as, job, thanks. As being paid from Spotty Dog uh, from doing some bar work in the past, I'm just going to let you know you, it's not worth writing anything about. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just, just a forewarning. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wow. Enjoy, well, enjoy that. I had just actually had something come up. I can't come to Melbourne. My only employee just became my <laughs> number zero employee. Yeah, oh, so sorry. it's in Melbourne. It's in Melbourne. Yeah, we're going to Brewers. We're going to COVID. Abbotsford. Nice. I might, I might join. Oh. Yeah, you should come yeah. along. Yeah, why I'll, not? You can run bar. Well, you love, been on you every love live, live so Steppies far. events. You, you've got to be there. I'm like, throw it'd rocks. Be weird if you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we didn't have you heckling in the background or Jimmy Anderson in the back, fuck, he's gonna be upset you're on the show again. He'll deal with it's it. It's his own fault. He's he fine. swerved at me on a bicycle the other day. <laughs> Old Papa Jim. <laughs> Were you at a car he, in the car? No, no, no. I was walking across the street in the CBD. And he swerved at me and he goes, fucking wag! <laughs> <laughs> I, for context, I was uh, photographing a wedding. Oh, that's oh. amazing. So I was walking across the road with uh, the bride and groom and yeah, I just get this, that's fucking am- wag! That's amazing. Papa, Papa Jim should remember that after uh, the Sip Skip Seller Tasmania Facebook group's first pub beat, he rode his bike home. Maybe broke some ribs, so maybe he shouldn't be swerving mm. on his bike. Mm. Mm. Not good. Maybe the- uh, training wheels are required for old potentially Jim Bob. Yeah, potentially. could well be. Could yeah. well be. I think he's got a good beard. But yeah, well, um, that <laughs> April eighteenth, isn't it, Weg? That we're up in uh, Melbourne and we're going to be doing some some naughty things up in, well, yeah, we'll in your face. Fun guests and beer on stage. And- Sip skip sell alive. I'm excited. It's going to get raw. Yeah. It'll be good. And there's some All great right. some great um, brewers there as well. Yeah. Which are you. not, as of time of recording, not announced yet, but uh, it does look good. Hopefully they pour beer better than what you just did. Well, I am early. cracking a little pilsner. He's little, using the uh, chunk boy to do a little a little floof, la- floofy. A little, little lag I'm having. You, so you've can, really got to notice every time that there's some kind of crispy beer comes you know, in a package and we drink it on the show, I haven't actually got any of it. No, because he does his floofy head. Yeah. It's pretty mm. fucking rude, actually. James Lewis taught him that. Yeah. Mm. All right. But anyway, um, I don't see March. Anything. It's March. Mm. What does March mean, Klimt? Steppies month, baby. Yeah. March madness. That's pretty exciting. College. We're going to be recording the Steppies Award episode, yeah. along with the state-based awards. Mm. Surprise, a couple of, motherfucker. Mm, a couple of states have finished now. Um, the last few are getting done, and it's going to get raw. It's it's heated. It's yeah. heated. Is that, is that you from the that's Wild Wild you. West Coast episode? I that's, think he's going to keep those on the show. No, that's not a, that's <laughs> not a good thing. Anyone else who was upset with the Wild Wild West Coast episode, I'm with you. That's it's just uh, you. That's great. I um, think the the fixation boys didn't appreciate the the stabs. No, I'm just joking. They couldn't hear any of them. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. That was very funny to find out afterwards. It was you? quite awkward, me sitting here watching them on Zoom, just and you guys couldn't see them, and I was like... Oh, we're really not getting much engagement here. They're the not. They're so I, were, I was like, I fucking put a solid five minutes into that. Here's this you and me having an absolute blast, and they're just like, not. I was, well, you were just I over there dancing, crying, mm. dancing and crying, and they were just like watching the screen, like, why are those guys mm. not talking? Yeah, it was the occasional like sympathy. <laughs> it was good when they joined us for raw thoughts, and we realised so. Yeah, and then they just left without saying anything. Bye. Mm. All right. Your All fir- right. your first news segment was. Like yep. a solid three out of ten. Yeah, we really went off topic there, and this is what's going to happen. Let's when do Sip Skip! Yeah, um, this is glorious. Oh, is it good? The pills? Mm. Mm. I wish I knew. I'm getting any. You are, um, because I'm having the rest. Sip Skip or Cellar. We have a few beers to reel off. Um, 
so Benny is quite a quite a regular. He knows how this works. Let's just kick into it. Ballistic sleep when you're dead. Uh, West Coast up here. Yes, seller. Looks fucking great. Um, heard really good things as well from uh, some friends up north and some uh, kangs, some absolute kangs. And uh, yeah, I would love to sip on this bad boy. I've heard some really good things. I don't know anything else about it. I just know it looks good. Sleep when you're dead series. The series they sell within X days, or they take them back off the shelves and destroy them. Wow, super fresh, super that, fresh. That's it's a very ambitious. That is ambitious I and would say uh, scary. Hipster. Uh, it's good. Benny, Benny be doesn't have to scarce. actually have that policy because his beers don't last that long. That's true. But if he did have that policy... I'll just... throw mine. Or even if they're in my fridge, I'll throw them out. It's fair. It's fair. <laughs> Why not? You're going to bring more anyway. Right. Fresh it? is best. <laughs> <laughs> so sips all round, I presume. No, yeah. seller. Yes, seller. I'm a sip. A seller. Stocking that up. Yeah. I'd sip probably with a slash of seller. I feel that. I feel um, that. Another one for you guys, Mismatch Brewing, doing a triple IPA called uh, cr- something crush. Triple crush? Triple crush. Yeah. It's, a, it's a triple IPA. It's, yeah, it's Tem- a 10%. I mean. 10%. I uh, actually saw a sneaky can of this yesterday. Oh, friend of the show perhaps had one. Yeah. Matty Gray. Yes. yes. Yeah, of course he did. Did you sip? Of course he did. Although I'm not, I don't know if I was supposed to say anything about it. Sorry. Um, no, 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 uh, no tasting. Ah. Mm. No tasting. Mm. Just saw um just saw the can. Yeah. Very intrigued. Very intrigued. Um nah, I'm gonna skip it. You're gonna skip it? No, I don't You've need, changed. I don't need triple IPAs much anymore <laughs> these days. Who the fuck is this guy? Nah. You've changed, bro. New hair, new you. It's just the new year, new me. I just not I'm like I'm not smashing back triple IPAs like, You look like you were comfortable. Like it's twenty nineteen. You were comfortably smashing back triple IPAs at uh, the live event when you I did had that keyboard warrior. You know why though? It's true. He was just killing the nerves. Mm, it's mm, true. I do get yeah. nervous for live shows. I get. Mm. It was good that you did the show shirtless, though. I appreciated that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. See how I wrote that into the future. Yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> Those yeah. twists manifesting you were wearing, like, like a teenage girl. Well, Clint. I've, <laughs> wow. I still have my beautiful Carhartt uh, um, braces. On. Car- Shout out I, to, so I did see. Shout out to Billy. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, I did, I did I was, see a little bit of shade about some, the car. Uh, doing doing some wood cutting earlier today just in my yard, and or um, <laughs> well, my suburban farm, I like to call it, and I uh, just thought I'd keep him on for the show because I know that uh, Billy is a big fan of cars. Now, we don't, we don't normally share inside jokes, but the friends, official friends, our Patreon, and homies of the show, our brewer friend in the group, Bill has been going at you of late. Like He's been going at you, and he doesn't like your car. Can talk more about it on Raw Thoughts. Bill Armstrong of Three Ravens. So mm. I think Ali might be coming for him tonight. Shout out to the quietest guest we've ever had. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, damn! He, wow. Still, still got the podcast renamed after him though. Talk more about Raw Thoughts yeah. soon. Okay, um, okay, that's going. Uh, good. Let's let's Next push beer. on. Come let's on. push on. Um, yeah, I'm a sip. Yeah, uh, sip, sip. Oh, sip, yeah. mismatch. Skip. Oh, okay. Fair, boy. Fair. I do like mismatch. Actually, I went there. Well, I didn't go there, but they got the, like the whole. Yeah, you and Lucy. They've got it. Yeah. They've got it combined with a. I can't remember the name the of the winery or distillery. They do gin as well. You said it on another episode. It's good, but why you skip then? Because big percentage hazy beers have not been my uh, most enjoyed beverage the last couple of months. Why doesn't he just fucking at why? you? At you, why? Benny? Why doesn't he just at you? Mm, I enjoy clear beers. Come hang out for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Open invitation. Like, we'll Maybe uh, no. We'll um, do a brew day with Benny. Oh, no, you nah, I good can't content. Spend that long with <laughs> 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 I saw one over there. Excessive machine. Oh, you did oh like that. that was a nice beer though. Actually, yeah, I think mm. you just yeah, you like well made. I think yeah, you just mm. got to find your find your jam and. Mm. I just think I get too stupid when I drink drink. Drink beers that are. You are a young, beautiful man. Mm. Yes. I got to say, uh, most of us get pretty stupid <laughs> mm. when we drink ten percent beers, my yeah. friend. Well, one of the not the last time we had you on the show, but the time before that was it in Brisbane, and we were drinking your triple oh, double. Triple double. This yeah. is all pre tap room. Is the triple double it's ever going to come back? About yeah. a year ago now. Actually. Yeah, triple uh, double, probably my favourite Fox Friday beer. Oh, that and the five O of all I time. I remember triple double very well. I remember Ali from Range drinking triple double and just being like. What? <laughs> what? And then you very rudely told her you could help fix their haze. I did not. <laughs> you did. 
my Mate, fucking dick. You keep off. talking about cabbage, I'm going to talk about haze. That's uh, how we roll. Well, yeah, if you make shit up, I'll make shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all remember the conversation. Fond memories. That was 12 months ago. That was glorious. It was 12 months ago. Yeah. Shout out to Bruce Vegas, which isn't happening this we year. We would have only just back. done our first show with you as well uh, in the tap room, the old tap room. Where you had to apologise. Yeah, it? yeah, where you had to come and do dishes for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I drank too many beers. There's too many beers. The dance floor. Beers. 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 I was pouring oh, them myself oh, on the taps. Oh, anyone, anyone who's new to the show, go back and listen. Shout that. out to my mum, um, who watches <laughs> Mrs. Donna, which who watches our YouTube channel and loves Weg and thinks Ali's hilarious and said it was nice that I was on the show. Mm. It's um, nice that we let you be on the show. Yes. Uh, anyone who's wondering, like we've given you nearly no intro tonight. That's because if you're a fan, you know. And if not, go back to the Fox Friday app on Spotify. Also, is does he own any clothing that isn't branded with his own business? Or yeah, he he wore a bloody. I come from work, man. <laughs> <laughs> he he wore a bloody Houston. Was it Houston Rockets or was it Texans? No, it's Texans. Oh, wore a Texans jersey like. last time. Yeah. Guess what? No video, no proof. <laughs> Raw. Anyway, go check out that episode all about Fox Friday, and then the live show as a follow up. And then this one has a follow follow up with even some bigger things in the horizon, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, let's get back into this. This uh, just got this sexy man next to me. I fucking very, hate this segment. This always happens. It's fine. It's uh, everyone's favourite segment, and that's why because I hate that it's it. everyone's favourite. Uh, Wildflower just announced Hive gold return as you're listening to this. I already have a magnum in my linen closet. I wonder if you got that magnum. Because we are recording in advance. I wonder if you got it. I wonder if you... Well, if it doesn't sell out before I buy it, I'll be on the shitter at work at 11.55 <laughs> waiting. Sometimes they, their website does drop a little early. I've noticed. It's yeah. like Topher gets a bit excited it's and just clicks. Hot, yeah. Okay. Actually, I think that's it. Is that a... Ooh. Yeah, that's a cheeky... What? What? what um, wild Maggie was there. Was Wildflower the one that just didn't get approved for Ballarat? Is that what no, that no, was dollar no, bill. Dollar, dollar, dollar bill. bill. Head and fee Sorry. dollar bill. Mm. I was going to say, that's absolutely deplorable. No, we're going to have them on the show real soon to talk about that, actually. That'd yeah. be great. I'd very, love to know the full story. It's it's really mm. it's really heartbreaking, to be honest. And, um, yeah, they basically went to the council meeting and just got attacked for you know, no reason, essentially. Mm. And, like, they're bringing a really awesome business to that area. Very welcome in Tasmania, especially southern Tasmania. Yeah, I know that they're going to look for somewhere else. And I tag Discover Tasmania. Come on away. down. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> no, nah, that uh, council needs to have a good uh, look in the mirror and see uh, where, the, where they really lie because that's, um, that's, that's wrong. Mm. That's mm. crazy. All parts of wrong, that's wrong. Yeah, we will have them on the show. So Very buy as much dollar bill us. as you can at the moment. Show some yeah, money. support dollar bill for sure. Mm, they for make sure. Lovely, and let them take it to the Ballarat beverages. Council because they suck. Mm -hmm. They do suck. Damn We've right. got uh, no hands in that pie, so fuck you, Ballarat. Okay. Fuck you. The council that doesn't suck, though, is the one that looks after Wildflower and let them do whatever the fuck Marrickville. they want. Marrickville. Um, this is, was one of, I think, collectively our favourite beverages last year, the Hive Gold. There was oh, also my the birthday, hive, my birthday bottle show. the hive amber as well, which I didn't actually like as much. But the gold or just something about it was fucking glorious piss. And uh, doing it again this year, glorious I think then um, it was such a long blog post. I just I can't even get into the, all the processes that they do with the honey. Um, all I did was skip to the end and see a when it's available and b if it comes in a magnum. Mm, so it's definitely <laughs> sold out now. Uh, it came out last Friday. Uh, it would have gone very quickly. It's a very, very good beer. I will be cellaring if possible. Mm. Thoughts, boys? Definitely sip. sip. Definitely sip. Mm. Yeah, that uh, first edition gold was stunning. I am probably going to be on the Magnum train if I can scam one to share with some friends. Uh, big seller. Nice. So I'll well, probably end up being seller because I'll just... Get yeah, you'll just be coming with bullshit. Sauce. Magnum boy over there, so of course he's a Maggie. Um, I'll I like how, did anyone notice that last episode I was watching it on the YouTube because I like to watch the Wee Addict to see what he says about this because he he doesn't, for you guys at home, he doesn't tell us what he's going to put in the edit. Mm. And so we have to watch it back on the day, um, which has been a bit raw. 
Alex, but you, uh, you fucking love it, don't lie. My lovely fiance just comes in on a on a Wednesday night and just watches me watching myself, and she's like, "What the fuck are you doing? You're such a weirdo." And I'm like, well, "Do you just love the look of yourself?" And I'm like, "Yes." Well, you know, in, <laughs> yes, uh, in Simpsons, <laughs> you're marrying me. What, yeah. like, does not answer your question. Why don't you sit down next to me and uh, enjoy the show? I know. Uh, I know. He's Text over loads are too fast for some of us. Tom. And, um, <laughs> well. <laughs> and uh, I noticed in Sip Skip last night he called himself a, a bit of a Kang, a bit of a king. Mm. Didn't put Weg down the bottom, put king. Mm, he did. That was big. Who energy. knows what he'll do in this video? Uh, right I'll probably cop it now. Who knows? Who knows? It's, Who knows? it's raw and real and it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go a little bit off, uh, off script here and I'm going to do one more beer for you. I uh, just got to get this off my chest. Uh, Moobrew have done a boiler maker beer with 40 spotted gin, uh, pink gin it is, and I think they've mixed that with their Pilsner or Lager or whatever Pilsner. boring Pilsner. fucking beer that they've chosen to mix that with. I'm salty and I know it. Um, I've got some thoughts about Moobrew. Does yeah. it come in a Magnum? It does not come in a Magnum, <laughs> and no one would want that anyway. Oh. This looks fucked. Why would you mix beer and gin together? Just sounds bad. We were literally drinking that the other night, beer and gin together, with the raspberry and the yeah, that was, 7K. That it wasn't was, great, though. It wasn't good. No, it's I didn't rate it. That was raspberry gin. That was raspberry gin with raspberry gozer is different. Does anyone have another beer? Yes, we will. Yeah, I'm good, beer. thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Yes, this is the second in the series with uh, the boiler maker. I think they did one with Lark last time. Can't remember what fucking IPA, bullshit that IPA, was. IPA with Lark whiskey in a can. Mm. Mm. Delish. I don't get the boiler maker in a can. All respect to Moo and Jack and the crew. Mm. I don't get the idea or the concept. I think boiler makers, the best thing about them is they sit side by side and like they accentuate each other. Which reminds me, we need to get Whiskey Craig back on and do another Boilermaker episode. Spoke to him the other night about that, yeah, mm, for so sure, it's for really, sure. That's, do it, do it right. Um, yeah. Moo Brew. Uh, I don't know what they're doing at the moment. It's just, whatever's going on is it's so shit. Like, you are, like, you're owned by Mona. You're in this place where people come and, you know, you want to go and try something, do something a little bit, you know, weird or, you know, we all know what Mona is. Mm. Why don't you make interesting beer? I don't think a boiler maker is interesting enough for me. Like, you've, they've got so many beers in their regular lineup and arsenal. You've got lager you've got pills and you've got single hop or like there's nothing there's nothing bold ambitious exciting in that range of beer and they've got such a platform for people to you know rock up a mona and have something really fucking interesting and really um, like you can wow people and go what the hell is this i didn't even know this beer style like because a lot of normies would rock up to that place and never have craft beer in their life you're at mona you and they just make the most boring, basic shit beer in Tassie with this incredible... The Pilsner's very good. <sighs> yeah, it is. Yeah, but, like, where's the excitement? Where's where's the Mona in Mubu? That's a big question. So I'm, like, and a boiler maker mixing gin with fucking... I don't know. It's not... I don't know. I'm a big skip. Just... And I've got some real thoughts about... <laughs> This is real raw. I yeah, love, I, love I just, it. I just not, I don't know. Moobra just, it's been triggering me for quite a while. Well, look, I'm a skip on the beer because gin in a can doesn't, in a pilsner doesn't make any sense to me. Mm. And before someone says, well, you haven't even tried it, only because I've spoken to people who have tried it. So I'm, I'm a skip. Like I love Jack and the crew. I'm not going to rag on them, but I'm a skip. Yeah, I, I, I just don't like gin. Mm. Sort of much anyway. So, and I, I, I love gin. You love gin. But I don't, I don't want to mix it. Mm. I just don't think I can never think how that's going to work mm. in in a hundred years. But I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I feel raw like, thoughts started early. Like <sighs> normally the Patreon only get our raw thoughts, but you got you got raw. I don't know. I, I could I like that. Energy. I'd like to go down that rabbit hole because it's I don't know. I love Mona and I love 
the majority of you what like, they you do. Like the, you, you like the vagina wall? Love it. So, Mate, he's, so got soap. Huh? He's, got, he's got the soap. Oh. C- celebrate all of them. Yeah. Celebration of genitalia. I wish there was a dick wall too, because I just like a bit of equality. But mm. I just, mm. yeah, I just, yeah, I won't, I won't touch it anymore. <laughs> but uh, I'd love to, I'd love to <laughs> That's reopen in your bathroom, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> in I, the mirror. <laughs> I would love to reopen that can of worms and talk about oh, that more, in more uh, dropping depth. the can of worms on the <laughs> dick wall. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's move on. Yes, on. please. Well, be- <laughs> be- skip. Before we, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a skip a, too. By the way, I'm a skip. Um, before we move on, can we uh, can we instigate the first ever send alley to the fridge because we need some beverages? And no. can you get that? Um, I can see one top shelf. Tell you what, fourth from the left, it's got a little blue circle on it. Oh, you can have a mozza can. I haven't had one yet, and you promised me the other Mozart day can. that we no, could have one. Nice stuff in there that you could. Ali just said there's so much other nice stuff that you could have. I'm well, me and sure Weg will have that. There's a uh, Hawker's West Coast <coughs> Double there that I was just Benny might like. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have you tried that. the excessive machine? Uh, I haven't had it yet. I got that the other day. Oh, oh, sir. Hey, Clint. Actually, I've got something for you uh, personally. Oh, you do. But I'm going to just grab it for you now, and I'd love you for uh, before we really talk to Benny and why he's here. Um, why don't we just uh, have a little uh, oh shit one drop review on the show? Oh, <laughs> oh yes! Oh, um, you so this, this is the kind of content the people see, come to I see. I see your glass is empty, and I see can I read what it is? Yeah. So yeah. it's Azul, part of the two-year birthday. Uh, happy birthday, one drop. Nitro Imperial. <laughs> <laughs> Fortified sour. Don't you drink my slipstream lager? Damn it! Get one of the blaster beers on that shelf. They they've been sent from Michael for your enjoyment. Have a pig. How's the IPA? How's the That's quite good. Enjoy, my friend. Okay. All right. This so, am I really moment, doing man. this? This is. This I just. Is, this is an eleven point three four forty mil can. Enjoy. I've got two at home. Lucky we're at your house and we can just. Ali, where's the other? Hang board. on. Wait. I need to get the other camera so I can f- ooh, ooh, do a bit of horny freak out. Like All right. Just keep talking about it, Clint, while uh, looking. All right. What I, what I will say out. is uh, how much are we loving It's a very out? beautiful can. I actually think it's one of the sickest cans to come out this oh, year. I think it looks really, really good. And a uh, uh, tattoo artist from, oh, I can't remember the tattoo studio, but he do, has done a couple for One Drop Now and um, does a very it's good It's uh, Lighthouse Tattoo, at Lighthouse underscore Tattoo. I seriously fucking appreciate his work because I think it's stunning. Yep. Um, what I will say is I did hear Azul is the name of the dog, the gatekeeper in Ghostbusters. Okay. And I think that like one drop is so clever at, did you hear me say that? One drop is so clever hmm. at um, taking the piss out of. Should I wake a little bit of that light, that little uh, that can out there? Taking the piss out of um, beer culture that like almost calling a beer this stupid a gatekeeper is a really nice little touch. Mm. That said, I'm very disappointed that I have to drink this. <laughs> um, so it's a perfect drop pour nitro can. I'm going to flip it three times. I'm going to rest for 10 seconds and then I'm going to drop pour and then watch move the that, um, Move that spotty can out of the way just so. Sorry, uh, boys. So Sorry, we boys. can get a good view of the, uh, this is an extraordinary colour beer. Um, yeah, give it an extra little. Just All give right. it one more just for love. Yeah, that's nice. That's that last one was for Nick. So yeah. ten, nine, eight, seven. You know, we're just counting it down. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to drink this because it's <laughs> green. Um, <laughs> and okay, well, I'm just gonna move my mic. Sorry, Wiggy. It's all right. Get into a big boy. Enjoy. Oh, look. At <laughs> so it's pouring. Oh. Those on the. Uh, what are the adjuncts in this? Seaweed. Spirulina. Spirulina. Coconut. Rum. Looks great. Um, that. So to those on the on Spotify, um, obviously jump on to um, jump onto the YouTube for this section and check it out because right now you're on the um, train to work and you're just not liking this situation at all. I will say that Nitro does look really great. Mm. Like, Looks great. So you guys asked cool. what was in it. So they got... Uh, Lactose, coconut, passion fruit, lemongrass, right. vanilla, and then um, blue uh, spirulina. Uh, all topped off with a subtle fortification of Hampton Estate Jamaican rum. <laughs> Sanka, you're dead? 
Yeah, can I smell the can? I'm um I'm quite naughty when it comes to rum. I don't know if you boys know this. Wow, that's interesting. When that's... I get on when I get on the rums, if I get on the rums, mm-hmm. I just become. Uh, what's the word? I'm trying to put this in a way that isn't creepy. I just become a bit of a mad dog. They came bounding over. <laughs> Right. Like from a, I'm a bit uh, worried now. From a horny aspect? <laughs> no, or? not from a horny aspect. Just a lad. Like I'm, I'm not horning out. I'm a married man with a kid. But what no, I, uh, no, I get that. Like when you just like, no, I just like, I become a bit of a, you know. No, I just like want to get around the boys and give them a kiss on the head. You want to go to Obar and have a great time. <laughs> No, no, I, I hope that doesn't even exist, does it? It does. Yeah, it's, it's pink. moved. No, I want to be at, at a pub with my arm around my mate and give him a little lick on the ear. That sounds terrible. Just real Will Tatchel. Well, get All right, it. come on. Chug, uh, chug. I'm not chugging Don't. this. <laughs> um, so thank you. Thank you to the One Drop crew. And happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Sorry. Last month. Happy birthday. They didn't, they didn't send me this, obviously. Oh, it's a bit minty on the head. That's quite cool. Mm. Um, we'll take a photo this. for socials as well. Ali, uh, Ali bought this for me. You're welcome, mate. <laughs> Rock and rider. This was seventy dollars. Nice this was seventy dollars yeah. for a four pack of this. Was it really? Yeah, I think from memory, it's, it's eleven point three yeah. percent. Oh, it's, it's different, good. isn't it? Yeah, it, it smells does, like a it's, cocktail. It's very interesting. Oh, I mate, mean, I know hey, that I'm buying the stickers to Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it actually smells sick. Oh, I'm a, oh. Okay, it's um. <laughs> <laughs> this was worth it. Uh, never this, let me go to the fridge again. <laughs> I've got to first. I've got to apologise to the Spotify people, but because this just sounds stupid. But and Apple Podcast. It's so many levels of silliness. But does it work? I, I don't know what it's trying to be. It's. I'm not going to say it's not beer. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. But it's 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 kind of just like a. A f- cocktail that I probably wouldn't order. Mm. Do you want to sip? Yeah, sounds like you like they're trying to take us to like that whole Barbados, Jamaica. The concept with like, the can, it's the very coconut, the rum. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I, like I'm not. Yeah, I and love the concept with the can. In, I think um, it's great. I'd never barley, heard of it, the blue, the blue cocktails. Oh, God, in barley that <laughs> God, you I don't know. Get. I was too busy drinking Smirnoffs. Mm. Oh, really? And the, and not the, even bin tanks. <laughs> Big tanks. <laughs> yeah, no, I drank a few of those. Yeah, it's. Um, I'll, have, I'll just have a, a very small taste because I don't know, mind that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's very hard to describe. Mm. It's the silliest fucking beer I've ever had in my life. I, I don't hate it as much as I thought. You better give me some then. Just so you all know, we're. Uh, the mouth feels amazing with the all, nitro. It's. Cool. Gotta say, that on a hot day by the pool, <laughs> I could do it. Oh, uh, look, I. I'd love to, when we get Nick on, so Nick is from One Drop, is coming on the show, because yeah, we're big fans of each other. Um, when he does come on, I'd love to ask him if the gatekeeper name is a reference to, you know, people being like, I just want beer that tastes like beer. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a fucking beer, because it's like, that's not a fucking no, beer. No, oh, we appreciate One Drop. They, they love to, you know, push, push the limits and uh, push people's opinions as that's well. That's pushing the limits. Yeah, now, a- now, like, I don't want to rabbit on about it, but... The whole point of this beer is to get attention for mm. the birthday, and it, and it worked. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, maybe I was thinking about this today because I wondered if you'd make me drink this because um, <laughs> you did put it to the front of the fridge. Um, maybe, maybe the thing that annoys me about this beer isn't that it's so silly and attention grabbing. It's that I just had a bunch of other one drop beers, and I think they don't need to be attention grabbing because I think their beers are really good. Mm. Some of the other ones. So that um seven C's was phenomenal. Li- liquid mosaic, like a n- little bit more bitterness for me, for mm. my palate, but very fucking delicious. Um, seven C's, I think we might open in a minute. Maybe it's it's on the shelf. Fucking I don't feel like they need to be attention grabbing. Mm. Maybe that's what annoys me about it. But I guess I got to drink it now. So enjoy. Oh, lucky. Um, oh, fuck! What a what a time. While to you alive. polish that off, we should actually probably uh, get Benny on, and well, he's on. We'll give him a segment. We'll let him just. Nah. No. Nah. Okay. Well. Can we? That's it for Step Brewers. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can we cut and go to a wee break? <laughs> oh. oh, real raw. We hit that, Jim. Okay. Bye now.
So fam- take seven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's just say we've taken a few attempts to get back in. I just want to say to all the fans of Weg, <laughs> perhaps he's not as good as you think. So uh, I'm apprenticeships looking, are four years. I'm looking at. I can see that. I'm looking at a couple of you guys who keep DMing us about Weg teas, and I think maybe Weg tea hasn't been earned yet. <laughs> anyway, take seven. Um, uh, funny stuff. People may be wondering why Benny's here because it's sort of he just popped up out of nowhere like an apparition and just sort of give you the context. So little message going across and Benny says to me, Puppy, Papa of many children, Mr. Worldwide, I, I need to come on the show. You've got one child. <laughs> no. That he knows of. You're all my children. Um, <laughs> oh, he's like, I need to come on the show. I've got to talk about something. And I said, mate, you can't come on the show again. This will be... The third time? 50th. Fourth time. Fifth? Live show, Fox Friday. It's part 50. of the furniture now, mate. This yeah. is the fourth time. And Jimmy Anderson is getting real upset about it. Might as well live here. But also, you know, fuck him. Oh, look. People, but, people know what they want. But you did want to come on the show, and we do appreciate you coming on to share uh, some news with us. And Dropping a big bomb. Well, we don't know if it's a big bomb, because Why? full context, I said, what would you like to talk about on episode? And he said, I'd like to talk about it on episode. So, Benny. <laughs> Not even we know what it is. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Pretty much. So, <laughs> Pretty uh, much. Luckily, I've uh, lubricated myself with delicious one drop beverages. That green juice. That, that green juice. Mm. Um, green juice. One drop K-Love tea coming soon collaboration. Uh, so, Benny, what's news? Well, I mean, yeah. The, um, t- the tap room's open now. Congratulations. Tap room's open. Thank you very much. And, um, yeah, thank Going you for everyone's support well. too. Like, it's been it's been really good. Um, the food, the food really is good. extraordinary. The food's Fuck very man. good. That um, chef is killing it. Yeah, Andrew's doing a fucking bang-up job. So, um, And we're having fun, which is... Yeah, the best thing. And and the guys, you know, Ryan, Oliver, well, Ollie, should call him not Oliver. but uh, Oliver. Oliver, wow, have you been telling him deep. off lately? No, I haven't. I probably should call him Oliver. Yeah. Uh, and then Sue us as, as well with uh, with Andrew. No, the guys are doing a great job. So Awesome, um, awesome. Yeah, no complaints at all. Um, feedback's been great. That's great. So, yeah, news-wise, so obviously um, online releases are back. Saw mm-hmm. that, saw that. Three oh, cans? Last week's bag. drop. Three cans. Uh, no, so uh, last week's drop, um, well, this actually this week's drop, uh, I should say, is uh, um, Code of Silence. Double. Oh, double. Ooh. Spy vs. Spy influenced uh, no, label. No, 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 no. Where's look at, look under your can is all I'll say. Mm. Look Exclusive. under your can. Exclusive. I like that. So, goes a little bit with what you guys have been going on about mm. of late as well, but... Oh, shit. I won't. I'll leave it there. <sighs> I know what that'll... I'll uh, leave it there. I've got a little... Yeah, I think I know where you're going, but I'll leave it there. Yeah. Sending of regards. Mm. But, um, yeah, so we got that going. But, um, yeah, look, obviously, as a brand, we've also been trying to expand. We've obviously done... Um, you know, tap room, online releases, and, you know, we've been struggling to, to keep up. So, um, yeah, very happy to announce that we are expanding. Um, so we've just about locked in a place now um, in Moona, so we get to keep our roots. We get Moona. to stay yeah. where How we want to stay. I really wish um, I had an, an, a golf clap. <laughs> I can add that in later. Just have, yeah. there it is. Does all the golf crowd come around him and clap? Yeah. What, what? Okay. I just wanted the clapping emoji. I love the em- uh, energy emotion. between these two. Like it's, oh, it's raw. I think and it's real. like sexual tension. <laughs> um, from Wig's <Weeks> point. <laughs> <laughs> but nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mate, <I> see, <laughs> um, so sticking to the Moona roots, that's good. yeah, that's, so that's wanna, great. I've always wanted to try and stay in Moona, you know, that's where the OG was, and we we really want to stick to that. Um, so yeah, very close, 
but super close if anything by the time this all comes out you know lease is sort of done and, and mm. we're ready to to rock and roll so nice. um yeah 10 barrel three vessel system Ooh. um yeah probably around sort of close to that twenty nine thousand liter sort of capacity um canning line and you know, so and so on. <laughs> Canning line. Uh, did you hear that, Adelaide beer drinkers? Uh, so yeah. So uh, the biggest thing is, you know, I want I want to obviously grow in our home state of Taz. Make sure we're getting out the product um, Taz wide, and it's been really hard of late, especially with the the tap room um, to to be consistent. You've just had no nothing to give to people. And you, you've been you said to me a couple of times like people keep you know hounding no. you. Go, do you have any kegs? Do you have any cans coming soon? You're just like I've got nothing. Yeah, because you've just been focused on tap room. Yeah, on the tap room. Support's been great, you know, and and people have been asking for the product, and it's just been tough. It's been a very like big balancing act to try and. Mm. You know, go to the tap room and and with summer, as we know, like summer down here is big trade for for us and huge and summer tourism. This year too. Um, so Even you're like the tourist, right? Yeah. So like November, December was massive. Um, you know, from a numbers point of view, and yeah, just like half for us. Like I don't know if people really know, but like our capacity is thirty three hundred liters, like yeah. overall. So yeah. when you think about that in the grand scheme of things, that's tiny. That's so kind of fucked up. I didn't actually know that. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. a, it's really like it's actually really impressive the amount you can pump out, um, and you know obviously the quality as well because they're very um, volume intensive beers. The stuff you brew, like you don't have a centrifuge, obviously. Not yet, because. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jeez. JC from Deeds is just like nice. my boy. <laughs> Not yet, but um, so yeah. Look, it's uh, no, it's been tough, and you know we've we've had a, a brewer start, uh, Joey. Um, I met Joey. I met who's, Joey. Who's uh, yeah? Look, good guy. A lot of good ideas. Very progressive, which is you know very much what we're all about. So um, where's, fitted in really where's he well. from? From Newstead, uh, from nice. Brizzy. Um, nice. So, yeah, um, we're able to get him on board. Um, he wanted to move down Taz and timing was right and um, just really good fit uh, for Perfect. us. So, no, happy days. and um, So, that's going well. Um, but there might be a little second bomb. But wait, there's more. Uh-huh. I feel, I feel How many like, bombs oh, we'll have? go on then I if feel, you have to. I feel like... like Benny coming on Load saying, up those sound effects. Benny yeah. coming on saying he I doesn't have enough wait. beer. He's going to build a brewery. It's all things we all expect. So what's the second? Yeah. Is it coming to Magnum? <laughs> <laughs> all beers are coming in Magnums from now on. Oh, oh, fuck no, yes. I'll take that back. Um, part of the expansion is uh, we're expanding more again. Um Hang You've on, secured a place in Richmond, Victoria. Oh, you're not oh, serious, no are you? Shit. And we are heading to the mainland. Wow. wow. Like a tap room? Tap room, brewery. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you said, uh, Congratulations. You said Thank it would you. be something That's that huge. we'd all like react to on the show. That's <laughs> fucking massive, man. Do you remember it? literally a year ago we were recording in the tiny little fucking space? That was the, the OG, still is. Still the OG. Still the OG, and we had some silly beverages up there. And who would You have helped yourself a, to the taps. And who would have thought in a, in a year's time, well, it'll take a little bit longer, obviously, for Richmond, but in, you know, maybe say another year's time, I'll be pouring beers myself at Richmond. It's going to be mm. beautiful. So, um, no shit, that's huge, beer. man. Yeah. That's huge. So we are, uh, yeah, heading into Richmond. Great um, area, too. Yeah, not, really not far off a sort of Terrible bridge road. Football club. Uh, Go the Blues. Yeah. Oh, you and I have wow. need to have word. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, heading to uh, heading to Richmond as well. So we'll obviously have down here and Richmond. So, I so I mean, without like pressing you too much on the setup. No, no, that's will, fine. Will Richmond be a smaller setup and a, like a bit of a... I'm going to steal a little terminology here, a bit like hub and spoke. So you'll have production down here, ship up there, no. do some small stuff. That's, or that's Richmond you? will be 41,000 litre capacity to start with. <laughs> Damn, son. Um, <laughs> and with the looks to add some more in. But what's going to be nice is we're working to have Jesus. the same 
brew house there and mm. uh, Tassie, so we get a lot of equipment synergies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, are you having the two. canning line, all that kind of stuff in Richmond as well? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. so Damn. obviously having the Tassie one, that's definitely more Tassie focused. Um, you obviously shipping stuff across the Bass Straits a pain in the ass and expensive and tricky. So is that yeah. sort of where your head's at? You're yeah, going to focus so more on the canning here for uh, local stuff and yes then and the no. Melbourne stuff for in, like interstate? Yeah, so it's going to be a balance. You know, I really want, um, you know, I really want Tassie to focus Tassie. So we want to do a lot of barrel aging down here. Fantastic. Um, so we really want to make sure, we, you know, we focus on Tassie products, get the barrel aging going mm -hmm. down, down this way. Great. But then with having the canning line down here and, you know, so we're getting the kegs out to trade and then we're making sure we support Tassie first uh, down here um, to then, you know, Melbourne um, can sort of take care of Melbourne and then the, the mainland. But we also want to do online releases. Yeah. Um, still from down this way yep. um you know because uh you know to be honest the the lead time on the tins isn't sort of too bad from from down here no, it's shipping um, the is not too but bad. i think too we can in some ways sort of separate um each place and, and maybe have a little twist from from <coughs> what we're releasing from each place too <coughs> Jeez, someone's okay, over there. i just um i just <laughs> finished finish my azul <laughs> oh. um and then i uh I was like, oh, if I'm going to have the last sip of it and taste of it, I'll have a little swig of the can. And to, I to, yeah. sucked in a bit get, of oxygen there. <laughs> feeling <laughs> feeling guess, the excitement. I, I was, I was going to ask, but I guess you already answered my question. I was going to ask if both Richmond and Tassie were going to be on the same sort of brew schedules or if it was going to be completely different. When you say brew, uh, as like in as like in producing beers. the yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yes and no. So, we will, you know, we'll have our core range to a mm. certain aspect and then... Um, no, pretty much, you know, like see, you know, what's seasonal, what's working, what's happening down Taz, what's happening in Melbs, um, oh. you know, and, and um, you know, stay progressive and have some fun. Yeah, like we... Huge amount of work. Like, oh, yeah. Huge amount of work. Yeah. When you said to me on the That's phone so the other cool. day, we have a huge amount of work when we're collectively talking about fitting out our individual breweries. You're going to fit out two. Mm. <laughs> Mm. And so uh, Joey was the new brewer. Yeah, Joe. So Joey will essentially be trained up very quickly to go over there or stay down here? Or No, so he stay down here. Yeah. Um, so Joe comes from, um, you know, obviously quite a big system um, mm. with mm. Newstead, yes. but they've yeah. also got the um, 10 barrel or 12 hex system, I think, as well in their brew pub, which we went yeah, to. Yeah, shout, we to, in... shout out to the guys at the brew pub who... Like, really looked after oh, us. Oh, they mm. were epic. Actually, I keep telling Joe every time, like, you know, when we talk about the new when we went there, I was like, they were so good. Like, they looked after us so well. Yeah, I, mm. I don't know his name. But no, I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. I wish I was there. And so, Joe says his name every wasn't. time, and I always still well, so, forget it. So, Joe, hit us up so we can be respectful and say his name, because he did come to the live show, he did service beers, mm. and mm. I, maybe when I introduced myself, well, when I went to the bar, I said... Has anyone ever told you you look like the lead singer of the Chats? <laughs> so, oh, I think he actually works at Range now as well. Oh, does he? Yeah. yeah, but no, seriously, like absolute yeah. legend of dude. It was really nice. Yeah, he's a really him. nice guy. And really, yeah, he really ended nice up coming guy. to the live show like as we were recording yeah. and like giving me a little fist bump as he walked in the door. Like, and then absolute he's, ledge. He lived at the apartment we were staying in as well, so we like bumped into <laughs> each other at the lift. It was like, oh, oh how good. But, and, um, and the third announcement is I am the face of the head brewer for Richard. You were the face of my head up, brewer bro. last week. Mate, you've got the old photos of me with the long hair. This is a new and improved me. Look a little bit different. you so got the Carhartt on. That's it. You are fucking up, bud. Face of the head brewer of uh, Richmond. Wow. So well, Ali, while I'm, while I'm oh. taking this in and while Benny's talking, can you please get me a beer from the fridge? Because I'm oh, I'm very good at that. Uh, so are you not finishing the mosaic? That's off screen. So I'm just. That's can little... I drink it then? No, you can't because you have I'll to be drive. right back. Does anyone no. else need a beer while? Because we've got we've got the old fridge in uh, in set now. So uh, sort of I'd like job. some. I'd like something from Blaster, please, from friend. Blaster, I can do that for you. Um. So, so Benny, you've obviously got. You know, I have a thousand off-air questions. Yeah, because we Come you. on. Yeah, ask what you want. No, no, no. We like. You know. 
full context, you know, with Spotty doing our own build and install at the moment, and you, you know, I've known that you were going to do a Tasmanian based one mm -hmm. um, for a while. We've been chatting and like we've had some really freaking long conversations, like Jimmy Anderson Thursday night length conversations. Oh, geez, those conversations <laughs> go wild. I'm so glad I don't get called by if, that. Uh, if, uh, if you ever get a call from Jimmy Anderson on a Thursday night when he's driving back from a canning run or he's had a few at Miner's Gold or he's had a few tins. It is one of life's great experiences. Actually, we should do it as a prize. Like Jimmy Anderson will call you on a Thursday <laughs> night. It's not a prize. It's not a prize at And all. he'll just chat to you. It'll be beer great. Grooming, beer grooming tips? No, well, he singed no, his beard at the party. He burnt it. He burnt it. He burnt his it was beard yellow. on his smoker. It was yellow. He's like, anyway, first time I've ever done that. Man. Anyway, we're just having too much fun as a, as a group here. We're not, Fuck, we're not podcasting. I'm, no, we are. This is great. Um, this is what this it's is all what about. I, this is what the people want to see. News, excitement. But, I mean, this is like... I know for Just don't get a photographer, Melbourne based photographer. I just obviously have to fly unless, every now and then. Unless and it's. Do some stuff. Wait, I'll, is it, is uh, our friend I'll undercut him. Is, <laughs> is, <laughs> is it, That's wait, very is our raw. friend. Uh, is there a friend, Focal Point Media? He's. Ooh, Melbourne a little bit based? of Riley Murphy. Jeez, hey, the undercutters do we have out. here on, in this little. Hey, official friend of the show, bro. Exactly right. Respect where respect is due. He's a good man. He's just, a good man. He's I just love man. Melbourne. I love going and I love doing things there and I miss it. And I yes, want to be yes. there right now. Um, Next but, month. I mean, so are you gonna you're gonna have to recruit a Melbourne brewer and a whole team over there? Yeah, for you sure. Know, should people from the show that are in the industry be thinking about talking to you or like what's the go? Oh yeah, look, always get in touch. Um, yeah, look, obviously as we go, we'll announce. Uh, you know, a bit more of a timeline of, yeah, of sort of say. how things are, are tracking. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd like to think, um, you know, the Moona side of things is going to be, uh, pardon me, open sooner. Um, yeah, you'd think so. Purely because uh, we only need a production site, whereas in Melbourne we're going full lot production tap room. I guess a lot of that, um, I mean, the stuff that really is taking up all my time so wouldn't be taking up your time because you've got that cellar door is on the like, laptop or on the laptop. What does the cellar door look like? What's on the walls? What's the look and feel like you've got that in Hobart now. So you're just taking that concept and like pushing it to a new venue, like food, look and feel like, is that the, is that the go? Is it in is, some ways? Yes. Is it the um, one so, that you showed me or is it a completely different? No. Do you know about this? Uh, you just shot You're yourself. You're a dirty the dog. <laughs> You're a dirty dog. I, I respect you. No, I respect you. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> I respect your integrity. Hey. See, I, this is this is this is <laughs> uh, Mum's the word. I ha I keep good secrets. Mrs. Yeah. Donahoe. Do he I, does. Do I come on? No. Oh, I gotta say, Ali keeps great secrets. I will because say, that's that's the second time now. I, that look, he's I, I, done I will that. say, I will say, if I tell Ali something, I completely missed whatever that was. That was a really good <laughs> sight too. So whatever you've picked is. Uh, <laughs> if, if I tell Ali nice. in confidence, I know that it will be in confidence, mm. and that is that is and it, like to your character. Slide into my DMs. Tell me all your secrets. But in saying that, no, it's no, <laughs> it's. Yeah, well, I was trying to. I was like, because that was that was. I keep looking at this and thinking. Well, it's too that was high. where the, too the home yeah, of the it might be home of the I'm, magpies. Uh, home of the magpies, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that was in um, Collingwood, the first one I showed you. But no, it, it, yeah, very different. Um, I, I'll show you later. Mm. But um, yeah, look, it's uh, we'll take a little bit of what we're doing, and we're pretty much taking, you know, what we're doing, the concept, you know, oh, South American, um, was. Southern styled food, not South American. Southern styled, Southern um, style, yeah. Texas. I, you know, we'll do some smoked meat as well, and we're sort of taking all of that. We're refining it a little bit. Um, and Traeger, then, sponsor us. The patty melt. I've got a new Traeger, by the way. So yeah, we've seen. We've seen, we've seen the little um, fucking Traeger. <laughs> so <laughs> not that little. I got the big one, yeah. not the little mm, one. Yeah, uh, Timberline. Let's. Uh, this is a meat podcast now. <laughs> yeah. This is a meat podcast. We, can we get sponsored can by we, Traeger and just sit it right? How here? good? How good is the Fox Friday food, though? Just saying. Well, no, when the what, kitchen's open. What I was gonna say. Wow, that's oh, wrong. That's so um, wrong. What I was gonna say is like <laughs> Melbourne uh, fam. Like if yes. the food is anything yes. to go by. Like, the beers are obviously incredible, but I go to Fox almost more so for the food because it's so fucking delicious. And, like, I am, like, I love it so much. So, 
Melbourne, it's just going to be another little hot spot. I, I was, I was going to say that because this whole COVID thing means our Mel- like Melbourne is our biggest listener base, right? You guys haven't been down to Tassie because you haven't been able to. Mm. You've gone through a fucking shit 12 months. Um, yeah, the food at Fox bangs. Like the fact that the beer is available at a bar yeah, near exactly. my work is silly. But then the food, and I mean, yeah, it's it, it's crazy. Just good. it just goes like that. When we were when we were speaking about where we were going to take Neto um, for the day he comes down, so the I think, first on the list was Fox Friday. Mm. Yeah, he was like, we're dining at Fox Friday. Beers and beers and food at Fox. Like first up, that's Ali's first day. That, the like, patty melt gets me hard. Nah, nah, it's a whole <laughs> chicken, oh, I will never eat that the same ever. <laughs> Again. The, uh, I want to tell you right now the uh, Nashville hot chicken sandwich. With the, the special seasoning you guys have, which I assume is just really good hey, salt and MSG because it's delicious. No let's MSG. not go past no S&P, S&P, bro. Uh, I know S&P. we're just like all sucking each other off right now, but <laughs> like the hand cut fries are. The hand cut fries are legit. Oh, dude. You know how ones. ripped Subas is from cutting those motherfuckers? <laughs> 120 kilos a week. Shout out to Subas. That we what go through. Shout out to Subas, uh, our it's... new homie. Um, um, let's get him on the show. But we're uh, actually going to so do good. like. He can uh, just cut his chips while he's here. We're talking about. Like doing a deep like fryer a over there. dirty cowboy, so like a um, Nashville chicken, yes. in love with like a patty melt, like mixed in somewhere. We're still trying to it's get fucking that silly, and I need it. We're we're <laughs> still trying to work that out a little bit. Uh, but sh- you hearing this? Uh, she gets me turgid AF. Mm. Um, yeah, the, the boot amble. Not- I've had the boot amble like twenty times. Um, I will say massive shout out to you putting on the um, Super Bowl event. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hobart got behind that, man. It was sold out. Sarah was at the door and people were being turned away. It I low key didn't want to turn up to that, but it I was, was like, crazy. there's no chance I'm getting in. You just go, do not know who I am. So many people turned <laughs> up and were <laughs> turned the away. Mm. Um, it was crazy. And it, like the vibe was fantastic. The food was great. I had like three chili dogs and like seven mm. pints. It was fantastic. How was your poo the next day? <laughs> just Probably not as bad as yours after you went to the fucking hot wing challenge. Let's move on. Let's All right. It came up this way, not that way. Let's yeah. just be grateful it did. Well, well, that is insane. <laughs> wow. I'm it, really taken aback. Mm. Anything else you'd like to... Well, have you got anything yeah. else you want to uh, throw at <laughs> Well, we will. Not yet. Not we'll, yet. We will go to Raw Thoughts shortly. Um, so maybe we can get a little bit more in-depth for the Patreon for the brewers in our, in our Raw Thoughts group and our Patreon guests. Mm. But fuck, I'm I'm literally a little bit taken aback. Yeah, and like, I told you, I I'm, to not gonna, I'm, I'm not going to tell dude, you everything because I want shock factor. I want when you first said it, factor. I was like trying not to get up and hug you. <laughs> the whole time. Hopefully, like, I didn't. Really I gave it. enough uh, facial expressions. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I should have known you'd fucking know. You're so good with secrets, man. I'm gonna if I do. But so- I told him like literally like probably five weeks ago, maybe. Yeah. Well, when was your engagement party? Oh, uh, yeah, like January, like late January. So it was like you the week before that. Was like 20, yeah, yeah. Jan, like mid So when you come to pick up the yeah. beef ribs, yeah, because I, I, so I provided beef ribs. Yeah, no, Ali, very nice. Yeah, yeah. These so, guys have got a really special yeah. relationship. I wish I had that with a friend. Talk about raw thoughts. thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, uh, to oh yeah, to. to <laughs> To mix to Mick Morgan, <laughs> ah, raw hard. <laughs> um, also to Mick Morgan from um, Blaster. What's this sour mama pepper thing you sent me? It's a horny looking uh, can. It's a horny looking can, and it's uh, look at the color on it too. By the way, it's crazy liquid. It's very. It's very. Is there any left in there? Yeah, there's heaps. <laughs> it's like you've had <laughs> Viagra. Like, you're like, it's very, it's very, like... He, well, he has had a full Azul to himself. <laughs> that is true. To be, to be low-key honest, the Azul has set me on a path that I cannot leave. Spiros, do you know who I am? I'm Clint. From the town of Pallet. I'm destined to be the world's number one beer master. I can't be defeated by the likes of... One drop. Now. <laughs> are you going to have a... Are you going to close out the show with chugging your pee? I can do that if you want. Oh, um, I Guinea will, pig. I will. I will say to you. you can compare times. I will say to you though that um, I'm pretty much going to take Frodo and Samuel to destroy the ring now. Like I'm on a path. Destroy it. Oh, no! Throw it in the fire! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just I don't I don't even know what's happening anymore. It's uh it's raw. It's real May raw. You partake. Thank you. I'll have that pig, sir. Um, can you pass me that chunky boy glass, which is available now via our DM? I can I just say I'm stealing the one I'm using right Mate, now? Mate, that is a, and, our gift to you. That is a gift. i got to say, the Tikus look fucking great. Thank you. Don't they? Whoever got them, like... They are sold out, unfortunately. Batch one is very much sold out. We might out. have to do a, a redo version of it. It's black. Point. Love me a good Tico. Well, we've got and some new things. We can do some blue and pink. Some new a illustrations might be uh, on in the works. A little bit oh. of wig. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Um, can we blank that out? As well? <laughs> I like how Benny's With like, pleasure. Can we? Like, because he is part of the show. Um, mm. I will well, say. Probably been on more episodes than I have. I will say that Crafty Merch did an uh, outstanding job of the tagos, and you know. COVID delays aside, we have been told there will be no more delays. Um, and, you know, shout mm. out to Crafty Merch because Batch 1 banged. Batch 2. Who knows? Ali's designing right now. Uh, special Patreon only glass. Ali's designing right now. Fuck, it's all happening this year. Sign up to the WEG tier, but it's not actually called the WEG tier. If you would like a Spicy Boy glass, uh, this has a op. Nice hop spice. Shout out to Shannon Giles. Um, <laughs> is, that, is that too raw and real? No, that's yep. not. Beep. Who's Shannon Giles? Hi, uh, beeps. He, he, the inspiration for that glass. Mm. Look, he, he's not. A, oh, here we go. He's not a he's not a neckbeard donkey. Um, but he did make a very silly comment about polyphenols uh, in hazy beers being yeah, okay. being a hop spice and being a desirable trait. Hop spice, mm. hop spice, man. Which, uh, as you, as you know. Probably not so much. Um, but yeah, Hop Spice Glass is available. Only a couple left now. We've had quite a few things coming in. So. I think there's 12 left maybe out of the batch, which is fucking crazy. I'm mm. sure. Um, I'm oh. sure by the time this episode lo- goes live, there probably won't be any left. Sorry. Yeah. But so, if there is, slide on in. Um, massive shout out to um, Scotty from our Instagram who follows us, uh, Ultra Scotty. Mm-hmm. Yes. Have, you been, have you guys been catching up with Ultra Scotty? No, I've been Love watching. sliding into the dams. So uh, Scotty uh, loves sliding into dams. And unfortunately, he kept saying to me, is shipping only $10? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> and then he's like, cool. Here's my address in, uh, in Massachusetts. The, yeah. <laughs> oh, is he from, yeah, the US? He's from the US? Yeah, yeah, I didn't realize. And I was just like, Scotty, that is, Scotty, that is really Scotty, cool. Scotty, I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> I didn't realize. I forget, realize I you forget that US. we have international listeners. So um, shout out to the... Quite large percentage of US <laughs> listeners in the last fortnight. Yeah. I assume you're all here because of Guinness's purgatory. Um, so, you know. I mean, come on, H-Town. Where you at, H-Town? Yeah, where's, oh, where's H-Town at, hey? Mm. Um, Love a bit of H-Town. Can't wait to go there in 2045. I'm taking you to H-Town. Oh, I'm going to show you some of the best barbecue you'll ever have. Oh, in please well, don't. We, should, we should all go to CBC. When Done. It's, when Easy. it's back on. Oh, be, it I've got accommodation everything. Oh, Easy. shit. Stop. Can Stop. I come? Wig. No. I don't think Wig we're ready. Stays here. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Wig. That's a good deal. I'm going to confess something to you, Wake. I've been liking your energy, boy. Mm. I've been liking your energy. This a is lot. for ruthless. This is enough. But before we get into, uh, before we wrap the show up, uh, we do appreciate Benny for coming on and uh, giving us, you know, the hot the hot tip uh, a little bit earlier. So we do appreciate that. Uh, um, yes. Wow. Well. Yeah. Look. Thank. <laughs> like. Thank you. A day or two earlier. <laughs> Very no, much the same timing. Um, no. Gotta be honest, it's released away. here first. Like, this is the first place, and um, you know, I wanted to do it here first. You guys have been great supporters for us. I wanted to give back. No, I'm not whether this is useful news or not, I don't know, but People I wanted to be on here and, and announce it to, to everyone, um, sort of before we, we get out to everyone else. So, uh, we, thank mate, you for we having do, me. We do really, really appreciate you every time you come here. It's always a lot of fun and banter, um, but also, you know, obviously doing amazing things for beer and Tassie. So, we do really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Step I bros. can't wait for you to have the uh, patty melt ruined by my phallic uh, <laughs> imagery. Uh, nah, yeah, I could. Yeah, Where you going? You really, you really got stuck on your pros there, but you were on, you're on route for something Where special. Where you going with this, Harry Potter? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Step Brothers uh, podcast oh. is proudly presented by Preachers Hobart, one of the best beer bars and gardens Buses. in all of Australia. Oh. Get on the metro bus in the backyard. Mm. 
CSA at our four live events this year. Three now. We've already done one. <laughs> the beauty of time. <laughs> and the first one was banging. Mm. Fucking oink. All right, go Here on. it goes. Go on then. Three, two, one. I wanted to play music. No, 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 no. we're not playing music. Three, All right, okay, two, fine. one. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Step Brewers podcast. If you like the show, be sure to rate, subscribe, and leave a review to help other beer lovers discover the podcast.